perfect. What's up YouTube? Welcome to volume two of the Cool-ish Dad's Guide to the New Age Dad Bod. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So off the back of volume one, today we're gonna to be working push, chest, shoulders, triceps. Once again, we're gonna do it in a manner where we don't need no equipment, but limited space, limited time. It's gonna be under 20 minutes again. We're gonna keep it intense. We're gonna get a good pump on. We're gonna get sweat on. We're gonna burn calories. It's all in there. So. Watch this. So for anyone who's not yet seen volume one, where we started with legs, body weight, legs session for the last one, we are gonna be putting together some sessions that are all gonna be less than 20 minutes, are all gonna have no equipment to start out, are all gonna be relatively beginner level, and then from there we'll progress to more advanced workouts, we'll add little bits of equipment in so we can still train from home, and we'll get some bands involved, maybe the odd dumbbell or kettlebell, just on a one-off, something that you can buy online for, for re relatively cheap. From there, we'll once again progress into a gym environment, hopefully by which time everyone will be out of lockdown, be training in the gym. So before we get into the exercises, we're gonna run once again through some fundamentals for each exercise. So our first exercise is going to be the push-up. We've got variations to the push-up. You can choose which one you wanna throw in. Maybe start a little bit more beginner, then as you advance through doing the workout a couple of times and a more advanced option. Another way to work it would be to, if you're a real beginner or you're struggling, start on the knees. Flip side of that, we could also drop the knees from full push-ups when we get towards the end of the workout and we're absolutely burnt out. Within the push-ups themselves, we have variations. We'll do a flat to floor push-up, a chest elevated push-up, which is going to work a little bit more lower part of the chest. Feet elevated push-up, which is gonna work a little bit more upper section of the chest. The triangle push-ups, we'll keep the triangle position but we'll drop the elbows low. They're gonna focus a lot on the tries and the center of the chest, on the middle of the chest. Options galore. So yeah, with your push-ups, plenty of options to go out. Different formats, different tempos. As we go through the rounds, what I'm gonna do is I will throw in a different option or alternative each time. So I might do flats first time, I might do incline, then decline, so work in different sections of the chest. Round two is gonna be our tricep dips. With the tricep dips, our key to this is we can either go legs straight out. If we're legs straight out, then we are pushing a little bit more weight. If we're a little bit more beginner and want a little bit less weight to push, then we'll go feet flat on the floor, legs bent, and a little bit less weight. Whichever variation we go for, the key to this is to, as you can see in the video that I'll stick right here, keep the elbows nice and narrow. So, as you sit on the edge of your step or on the edge of your bench, you're gonna just miss the hips or miss the bum with your palms. Then from there, rather than the elbows flaring out to the sides, you're gonna keep them elbows tucked in nice and narrow to your sides. What that's gonna do is that's gonna isolate the tricep. This can be done on the stairs, this can be done on a chair, this can be done on anything where you can elevate yourself easier. Number three is going to be negative push-ups. Weight through them palms, pushing into the floor. This time, we're gonna lower ourselves down from the top to the bottom in at least a three second negative. We'll aim for an explosive push on the up. That explosive push will start out well, but towards the end of your set, you'll find that you're probably going up as slow as you're going down. Number four is gonna be plank to press. Starting from a press position, palms again flat on the floor, straight line through your shoulder, through your hip, through to your ankles, body nice and straight. The core stays nice and tight, and then from there, we're gonna to drop to forearms, hold the plank, straight back up to hands, drop to forearms, hold the plank, straight back up to hands. As we're working through our plank to press, we're gonna to aim to use each side alternatively. So when we're on the forearms, we're gonna go right hand push up first, we drop back down, next time we go left hand push up first, if that makes sense, just to and try and even it out a little bit. And then round number five, our final round for the circuit that we're doing today is going to be a push away push up or a pipe push up. So once again, you've got variations here. You can do this from toes as I'll be starting out. You can do this from knees or you can start on toes. And when you start to fatigue, you can drop to knees to get them last few reps in. So the aim here is to have the bum higher than the head. We're gonna lower the nose down or the forehead down in between the hands. We drop forwards and down, and then we push away and back towards the bum. In terms of sets and reps, for what we're doing today, we're going to work three rounds. If you wanna work five rounds, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm, going, I'm not gonna have a rest in between each exercise. I'm gonna try and push straight from one exercise into the next. What you'll find is, especially as we go through the rounds, and we get into rounds two and three, I will definitely probably have to stop in between reps. I might get three reps out, have an absolute burn on, drop down for a second, give the arms a wiggle, 
release a bit of that lactate, then I'll go back in, might get another three or four before I burn out, and then I'll drop down again before I get my last couple of reps in. Okay, there's no shame in that. Take your breaks where you need to, but try and keep it as intense as you possibly can, and I guarantee you'll get a good workout from this. Let's go. Guys, that's one round. Look at the state of me already. Chest and shoulders burnt out. I'm gonna go three rounds. Push them limits a little bit, considering we've got no weights and no equipment. Not bad.
So there we go guys, three rounds, under 20 minutes as all the workouts will be, everything will be under 20 minutes. Limited space, no equipment, all you need is body weight, little bit of willpower and we'll smash it. Got a massive pump on, I can feel it, chest and shoulders are burning. I'm absolutely sweating buckets. Smash my calories for the morning. On with the rest of the day. Light work. Now, do you know what? I'm lying. It's not light work in the slightest. It's absolute graft. <laughs> that was absolute graft. I mean, I always feel like they're just hanging. But yeah, 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes and under. We'll absolutely nail it. Loads more coming, guys. If you like the content, like, subscribe, watch this space. Perfect.